Aloha, everyone. I'm Dr. Tom Johnson from Kalani Total Health Center. Today, we're talking about sciatica. Sciatica is a clinical diagnosis and condition that is very specific to compression of the sciatic nerve or pathology of the lumbosacral nerve roots. Symptoms of sciatica are very wide ranging and different for different populations and for the different causes of sciatica. Symptoms can range from sharp pain to shooting pain into the left or right gluteal regions, can be isolated to the gluteal region. It's not typically just localized back pain. There definitely is a gluteal radiation of referred pain. Pain can be sharp, stabbing, electric, burning, it can be dull, achy. Again, the symptoms can be very wide ranging for different people. The pain may come and go, may be increased from sitting to standing, prolonged sitting, prolonged standing, repetitive body movements, bending, twisting, lifting mechanics. Again, it's a very wide range of condition. I've heard about conditions where the patient claims that they did nothing and they had a flare-up of sciatica just from sleeping in a weird position. You know, what's the etiology and risk factors of sciatica? Well, typically 40 to 50% of the worldwide population will experience sciatica at least once or more in their lifetime. Yearly, annual, 5% of the population reports flare-ups or first episodes of sciatica. Peak occurrence typically is in the fourth decade of life. That's usually in our 40s. It's rarely seen under 20 and typically can be seen in our Cedar Citizen geriatric populations as well. Some of the risk factors include being overweight or obese, carrying more weight than your spine than you need to, having a weak core strength, being stiff and not flexible, um, having a job that's overactive for your body type, having a job that's very sedentary, that you're sitting too much and very inactive. Poor posture, poor body mechanics of lifting, twisting, bending, osteoarthritis, degenerative joint disease, disc disorders, bone spurs, uh, inactive lifestyle, unhealthy lifestyles, poor posture, again, all to name a few. What causes sciatica? Well, there's a long list. You know, the first and foremost is the long range of spinal disorders that can be present in our spine, such as herniated disc, bone spurs, uh, osteoarthritis, that produces a, a canal stenosis, either a central canal stenosis or a lateral canal called IVF stenosis as well. Spondylolisthesis, acute and chronic trauma injuries to the lumbar, pelvic, hip, gluteal complex. Um, tumors in the lumbar spine uh, that compress the cytokine nerve and the nerve roots. Piriformis syndrome, Cotiquana syndrome, the list goes on and on. How is cytokine typically diagnosed? Well, it usually starts with a, a complete health history, a comprehensive physical examination, which includes active and passive range of motion testing, posture testing, movement testing and gait analysis, orthopedic testing, neurological testing, uh, palpatory testing, testing of, of different tissue types and joints, um, additional imaging such as x-ray, MRI, CAT scan, CT, nerve conduction velocity test. How can sciatica be prevented? Well, first and foremost, maintain a healthy active lifestyle. Keep flexible, keep strong, keep your body moving. Um, good overall health, limit your smoking, alcohol, and drug intake, uh, good posture, healthy body movements, choose physical activities that are not harmful to your body, not likely to cause an increase in back pain or sciatica, keeping yourself safe, limiting slips and falls. When should I contact your healthcare provider and why early diagnosis and treatment is critical for a sciatica? Well, like all conditions, the earlier we detect, the easier it is to correct any condition, um, including sciatica. You know, severe back, hip, and leg pain lasting for more than a few hours uh, that's unbearable is a great sign. You need to, you have an emergency, it's time to get it, to go to your healthcare provider to get it checked out. Tingling and numbness or weakness in the same leg, foot drop, loss of bowel bladder function, uh, sudden or severe pain um, from a new trauma um, is a another likely uh, cause to go get help. You know, when the condition is affecting your life, it's affecting your sleep, it's affecting your daily life called activities, daily living, those are all great reasons why you should go get help and have it checked out. At Kalani Total Health Center, we use a very integrated and multi multidisciplinary approach to the examination, diagnosis, treatment, and rehabilitation of your sciatica. We use a team-based approach that puts the patient at the center of the care. And again, we use the best methods of traditional medical care, chiropractic, physical therapy, and sports medicine all together to get you better quicker. I'm Dr. Tom Johnson from Kalani Total Health Center, your one-stop healthcare shop. Aloha and mahalo. Mm -hmm.